The importance of communication should not be underestimated. Museums have the role to communicate the tangible and intangible heritage. As already stated by International Council of Museums, communication includes education and exhibition, which are among the main functions of a museum. Museum collections and temporary exhibitions of any kind have to speak at the same time to specialists and the general public. For this reason, communicating before, during and after the cultural experience is a continuous challenge while designing an exhibition or an event. The purpose is to attract people, set expectations and continue engaging visitors. The elements involved in the communicative action are who gives the message, what is the content of a message, how the message is conveyed, to whom the message is addressed and finally why the message is given. So how these questions are adaptable to the museum world? Who? Museum is a medium through which researchers and museum operators can convey messages about the collections, the exhibitions or specific topics. The emitters of a message, the museum staff, should give the receiver the possibility to reply and to be an active participant of the communication. Many big museums have an office devoted to public relations and communications with the public, in charge of creating specific activities for various categories of public. In this panorama, the use of social media and multimedia is gaining more and more importance. Second question, what? The museum can present the result of researches concerning the collections in the form of papers, exhibitions, conferences, as well as providing information on the exposed objects. The real challenge is that of presenting artifacts in a way that stimulates the audience with different perspectives. The shared contents should be both of scientific and ethical concern, connecting specialists and wider public. How? A continuous variation of the forms of communication leads to a change in the concept of cultural communication too. The museum should adapt to this change developing generic communication strategies in order to take contact with the visitors and to put them in connection with our visitors as well. So what the visitor expects from the museum experience is a gain in knowledge within an enjoyable context. To reach the same, the museum should design a flexible and audience-friendly system of communication. Communication in museums can also work by means of a sensory presentation of the objects. For this purpose, interactive multimedia are a powerful communication tool. However, the challenge is to keep them simple and non-intrusive, to enrich the visitor's experience without any distraction from real contents of exhibition. So, attention should be paid in the development and use of technology. Every feature of a museum can play a significant role in the communication process. The walls color, the arrangement of the artifacts and the distance between them and the public can have an influence on visitors. Depending on the type and the purposes of exhibition, the museum staff can decide which engaging sensorial or multimedia strategies should be employed. To whom does the museum communicate then? One of the major difficulties is that the audience can be extremely heterogeneous. So, it's important to pay attention to the different social and cultural backgrounds of the people entering a museum. The best thing is usually to create communication strategies ad hoc. In order to meet this end, it's important to take over visitors' opinions about museum setting and efficiency for service and satisfaction questionnaires. And the last and fifth question, why? Some of the reasons for which a museum must adopt the most effective strategies for conveying messages may be to make people aware of the cultural heritage and the importance of institutions like museums and research centers, to give to the community a sense of cultural ownership, to increase people's self-awareness or to stimulate new ideas and promote people's critical thinking, this is very important, to gradually increase more and more the museum social impact, to be in turn enriched by the skills and suggestions of the public. The visitors frequently want to contribute and share their opinion actively participating in the museum's development. So the main concept which has been outlined here is this. Dialogue is crucial in museums. Dialogue between a tour guide and visitors, between groups of visitors, between the museum staff and the public, but also a silent dialogue between the artworks or archaeological artifacts and the people looking at them. So when the communication between these actors is effective, heritage experience is a success. Dialogue allows visitors to stay active, to critically reflect on the exhibition and to look at cultural objects from different perspectives.